Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you might be. In part one of creating a database, we saw how we could create a table. In this upload, we're going to look at how we can change the properties of tables, and particularly to change the properties of the fields within a table. To do that, I need to go to Design View. So over here, I'll change to Design View. And when I'm in Design View, I see a screen which was familiar from the creation of the fields. Now, as I click on each field, you'll notice at the bottom of the screen that the properties of, of fields are available for me to edit. And depending on the data type, the properties area will change with various options. Let's look at the first one, the ID field, the friend ID. You'll notice that the field size down here shows that the long integer is the field size. We can generally leave that the same because that enables me to have uh, IDs up into the millions. The new values, as I add a new uh, record into uh, a field, the ID will increment by one each time. Indexed, I purely look at this and note that the default value is yes, no duplicates. What does this mean? Well, when it is yes, and I notice that if I click over here that there are other um, uh, options available to me but by default the ID field where there's a primary key involved needs to be yes no duplicates the yes simply means that sorting is much much quicker in access and certainly we do not want duplicates in the ID fields. In fact, the primary key stops us from having duplicates. So now let's click in the first name field. And here I see the properties in the first name field. By default, access allows up to 255 characters in the field size. Well, we don't want that. We don't want that much space reserved on our drive. So I'm going to say that the first name uh, field I'll allow up to 20 characters in the in the field. At this stage, we won't worry about the format, the input mask, or the caption. Uh, the caption simply means that I could type in a field name uh, or an, an identifier um, in the for the field name, which would appear in the table. But the field name actually remains the same first name. Default value, well, we don't want any default value there because we don't know what the first name will be. The validation rule and the valid valid validation text will be covered a little later. But I do want to say, yes, I definitely want an entry into the first name field. If I had left it no and tried to bypass that field, access would not have saved the record because uh, uh, now it is required. Allow zero length. Well, I don't want to allow a zero length. So I'll make that no. Indexed. Well, the chances of me wanting to sort by first name are remote. So I'll leave that no. And we can forget about the bottom three uh, for the purpose of this particular uh, video. Surname, again, I'll allow up to 30 characters for the surname. Uh, don't want any format. Caption is fine. Surname, uh, no validation rule, etc. But I'll make the required yes. Allow zero length, no. No, uh, and now indexing, um, I might want to make that uh, so that I can sort quickly by uh, surname. I'll make that yes and duplicates OK in this case because 
there might be lots of Smiths, lots of Joneses, etc. So we'll make that yes duplicates OK. And we won't worry about, at this stage, the last four options. Date of birth. I notice now that there is a uh, format uh, change available here for me. And I can choose the way that I want the uh, date of birth to appear. I'll leave it at short date, which is the one that I will see in any case. The input mask we'll worry about later. Caption don't need to change. Um, the validation rule we will say that the um, val uh, that the date has to be greater than uh, the 1st of January uh, 1900. So that if I make a mistake in the uh, uh, typing of the year uh, I'll be notified because the validation text I might want to be must be greater than January 1, 1900. Required? Well, I'm going to say yes here. I, I want to know the dates of birth of my friends so that I can maybe send them birthday cards. Uh, indexed. Um, well, I'm going to make that yes duplicates OK. There might be two or more people with the same birthday. And uh, the yes simply means that I can sort quickly, as you're aware. Uh, we won't bother about the, um, the other um, uh, properties in this particular field. Telephone. Again, I'm going to allow up to 30 characters for telephone numbers. And finally, the state. Now, with the state, I'm going to put a default value of NSW so that whenever I enter a new record, I'll automatically see NSW in, the, um, uh, in, in, in that particular field. Required, I'll say yes, I need to know what state uh, somebody is in. And I'm going to say allow zero length, no. So you can see the logic behind these things. If I require um, a symmetry, then I don't want to allow zero length. Indexed, I'll say yes. Duplicates, of course, are allowed. And I can sort quickly by state. So that's how I can change the properties of a table. So let's go back to data sheet view. Save the table, yes, because every time I make a change in design view, I need to save the table. So I can either do it that way or click the File Save button. But I'll click here, yes. Some data may be lost. That is because, let's say that there was a surname with more than 30 characters, uh, then I would have um, uh, perhaps truncated some of the entries. So I'll say, uh, if data's lost, validation rules. Do you want to continue? Yes. So I'll click yes again. And here I am back at the uh, table in data sheet view. And this time I notice that the default entry for the state is showing. So I'll just add one more entry there. And this will be Sue tab Smithers. She's number four. Tab again, Sue was born on the 3rd of February, 1899. Tab. Ah, must be greater than January the 1st, 1900. So really what I meant was 1999. So you can see how the validation rule took place. Now, her phone number, well, I don't know her phone number, so I'm going to leave that one blank. And of course, she is in New South Wales. Now, you'll notice that if I close the table, that I'm not asked to save those changes because uh, Access automatically saves changes in the table for me, any extra entries that I put in. So I'm going to close the Friends table, close, and I'm not asked to save any changes. They've been automatically saved for me. Thank you so much for watching this upload. Make sure that you subscribe because the next part, part three, will involve the creation of forms.
in an access database so that I can easily add information uh, via a form into the table. Make sure you subscribe to be automatically notified. Thank you for watching.